thanks for joining us today on Playing the Field Local Edition. I'm Maria Soraya. We are here today at Palos Verdes High School where you will meet the boys varsity basketball team. Coach, give me an overview um, of the team this year. Yeah, you know, we're coming off the winningest season in PV basketball in the last 50 years or something like that as far as anybody has memory. Um, so they really set the table for this team. What we, what we lost in a lot of seniors, we lost our entire starting five last year. Uh, we gained in a lot of grittiness, uh, really good shooting. Uh, so last year we were very big and athletic. This year we've just got a lot of shooters. Um, and we really have this next man up mentality. So if somebody gets hurt or somebody's not going one day, uh, the next guy off the bench comes and, and has a really big game. And so it's been fun um, as a coaching staff to just be able to watch the younger guys develop and step up for their teammates. And uh, we've got a really special team uh, this year. Interesting you talk about the fact that you lost a lot of seniors, but the guys that were really kind of waiting in the wings are ready. Yeah, they're very ready. And, and some of the guys that are even starting played sparingly minutes last year. And so again, as we started to develop during the summer, it was amazing to see these guys really step up as if they've had a ton of playing experience at the varsity level. Uh, and we really put uh, a lot of surprised faces on the South Bay as we got into league and we had the best record um, in the Bay League coming into to league play. So much is talked about in basketball about chemistry, and so I guess that had a lot to do with these guys knowing each other for a long time. Yeah, you know, I, I, I couldn't talk more about, that's probably our, our biggest key to success on this team is our chemistry. Uh, when you have 15, 16 guys that really buy into a system, believe in each other, support each other, love each other, um, this is the first squad at this school that I've coached where every single player believes in each other. There's no attitudes, there's no egos. Everybody just wants to win. And I think that's a championship mentality um, that we have that's different from the seasons before. You know, we talked to different high school um, athletes. Some of them play other sports. What's your take on that? Do you prefer that they do or just focus on basketball? Yeah, you know, I, I'm a big believer in people branching out and trying new things. Um, I think that it really um, creates confidence as you step into the real world and you usually have to handle a lot of things. you got to have a full-time job, you're a mom, you're a dad, you're a parent, uh, husband, wife, uh, you're volunteering. And so if someone gets really locked into one thing, I think that, that, that weakens their ability to transition into the adult world. So I'm all about the guys playing as many sports as they, as they want. What, um, what's the message that you want the kids to take away from all of this? Yeah, you know, at the end of the day, like 99.9% .9 of these guys aren't going to play college sports and so I'm a big believer in equipping these these young men to be great members of society uh, really good husbands really good fathers people that uh, companies want to employ uh, and so it's all about creating the good habits and uh, translating the things that they're doing on the basketball court into life lessons and that's something that coach Brian really preaches to these guys um, and the entire coaching staff all the way to the freshmen we start talking early about hey the, the touching every line when we do these line drills and finishing layups as hard as you possibly can these are habits that actually translate into into the real world you were talking about being friends with coach Brian what's it like for you to come back to school where you went to school yeah, it's it's really weird um, you know I tell these guys um, I was the weird kid that wanted to play at the next level, and so I was the one having my mom drop me off at school at 5 in the morning and getting shots in this gym in the dark before school, and now I'm here um, coaching these kids and showing up at 5 in the morning for some practices, and it's just weird to look back and go, wow, first of all, I feel a lot older <laughs> that, that the freshmen that are in our program weren't alive when I was a freshman in high school. That's a very weird feeling. Um, but there's something really great because uh, this school provided so much for myself um, and it was a platform for me to go out into the world and, and be impactful. Uh, and so I, I count it as a great privilege to get to come back to the city I grew up in, the high school that I went to, um, and make an impact in the community. And I really think that there isn't a better time in someone's life to make an impact for the world than teenage kids. Uh, and so we're getting able to do that and I just, it's it's so life enriching for myself. Tell me um, how long you've been playing basketball and why you chose it for your sport first. See, since like kindergarten, maybe it's been a long time. And um, I've always been kind of on the taller side and always just loved basketball and other sports because I can like take over a game, like versus more like you see the other team versus not like a, not like a face mask like in, in front of you pretty much. And that's kind of like the more like personal sort of game. I'd say. Did you ever, did you ever try any other sports? Or? I played volleyball and football for a little bit, but um. Volleyball just wasn't enough contact for me, and football, there's, I don't know, it's just a different game. I was very good at it. Yeah. Sure, sure. It's different than basketball. Yeah, definitely. You're a senior now, but you've been playing for a long time. What do you do sort of in the offseason to get a little better? 
definitely hit the weight room a lot. Like, definitely this past summer, I definitely, like, every single day, I would hit squats and hit um, uppers and just try to get, get my body better for the season and work on my shot especially. Um, talking about sort of like the school time versus basketball time, is that hard to sort of negotiate or do you get the hang of it after a while? Um, yeah, because like definitely with senior year, college apps and everything was crazy. It was pretty hard, but luckily that was in the fall and now towards the winter, sort of towards the back end of it. But uh, it's definitely pretty hard to combine all that with AP class and everything. But um, you kind of get a routine at some point. It's got to keep this figured out. You just got to plan ahead, figure it out. Yeah, very good balance. Um, what are the messages that the coaches want you guys to take with you? Um, definitely just do everything with intent and just, um, no matter it's in life in general and especially like this year if everything happened with our coach and we just want to play for him and just, he, he loves the game so much and he wants he, he shows his love for the game and love for us by just where we can come and practice and all that and just make it so that whatever we do we just work hard and just have intent pretty much. You guys hang out together outside of basketball too you seem very close. Yeah, so some of my best friends on the team and you know we have fun playing video games or just going out like, for high on Saturday night. And uh, getting lunch and all that, yeah, they're super fun, super fun guys. Like, see a movie, everyone wants to like Star Wars a lot, it's super fun. Very cool. And then, um, how many free throws do you think you shoot a day? Um, I need to shoot more. Uh, I don't know, <laughs> not enough. I miss a lot. But um, I'd say free throws, maybe, if my coach asks, 200, but for real, like, like, like five. I've been playing basketball since I was about, like, five, and I, ch I chose it because, like, it was just a natural decision. Like, I love basketball. I love playing it. I love the atmosphere of basketball. It's just, I love basketball. Did you ever try any other sport? Uh, I tried football, and I was pretty good at that. But, like, it always kind of got in the way of basketball, and I just chose basketball over football. Because you've been playing for so long, is there certain things you work on, like, from season to season to get a little better? Yeah, so, like, whatever I know I'm struggling with in, like, a certain game or season, I just try to go – to any local gym and just work on that. So it just depends on whatever. You mentioned that you played bad football. What do you think you kind of learned from football that actually helps you on the hardwood? Uh, that grittiness, like that toughness that football players have, and that just transferred over, and that really helps in basketball. And as far as like your basketball time versus your school time, is that kind of hard to balance, or are you kind of get the hang of it? It's super hard to balance. Like we were having finals this week. We had a game last night. I had like no time to study. It's hard to balance, but I've kind of like from year to year, I found that like medium. And so it's getting easier over time, but it's still super hard to balance. Okay. And then what's the message that the coaches want you guys to remember? Uh, do it for your teammates. I mean, our coach has cancer right now. And so this season we're trying to do it for him. But, like, overall we're just doing everything for each other because we're like a family. We're a brotherhood. So we're just go hard for your teammates. Okay. And then um, how many free throws do you think you shoot every day? I shoot about, like, 100 free throws a day. Yeah. Did you shoot like before school? Before school, yeah. I've been going. I, I work out at five o'clock every morning. Yeah. So. Um, I've been playing basketball since second grade, so a while. Um, and I chose it. My brother played it. My older brother and my dad played in high school. So uh, just runs in the family, I guess. In the family footsteps. Did you ever try any other sports? Um, I swam a lot when I was younger, and then I played baseball as well. So, yeah. What do you think you maybe learned from each of those sports that actually helps you here? Um, swimming was really tough, um, endurance-wise, so that was uh, that really helped um, with staying in shape. And then baseball was taught me a lot about patience and just uh, you know you gotta get get it when it counts. So, yeah. What is the message that the coaches try to get you guys to, to remember? Um, this year we're trying to win league, so. Um, the coaches just, we got to keep going. We got to get one game at a time and get some wins. Last year, I didn't really play a ton as a sophomore, so kind of new to it. And this year, um, everyone kind of has to step up. We got a lot of new players, so uh, yeah, definitely. It also seems like you guys are a very close-knit group. Do you hang out away from basketball as well? Um, yeah, yeah, we actually do. We did a trip to San Diego last month, so that was a big bonding experience. And we did, um, we do weekly poker nights. That's fine, yeah. Who's the best poker player on this team? Um, I like to say me, but uh, I've lost a few times recently, so um, I'd say Elijah. Elijah. Okay. Of Watching your game now and trying to copy it. Huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then, um, what? How many free throws do you think you shoot every day? Um, every day, I probably shoot around. I try to get 50 makes, so. It's like 75, 80 free throws I try to get. I started playing 
uh, like league basketball, I'd say in about second grade. And I just picked it because I have height and I was really athletic uh, growing up and my parents just thought this was the best sport and I really love it. Did you ever try any other sports? Uh, yeah, I played soccer, football, uh, that's about it. But baseball too, but yeah. What do you think it was about basketball that made you stick with this the longest? Um, I just played all sports, like when I was growing up in elementary school, I just played all sports at the same time. And this is the one I look most forward to coming and practicing and playing with my teammates. It seems like this is a very tight-knit group. You guys hang out away from basketball too? Yeah, for sure. We hang out as much as we can outside of school. And, yeah. What kind of things do you guys do together? Uh, go to the movies, go to the beach, go to breakfast, lunch and dinner, whatever we do. What's the message that the coaches want you guys to remember? Uh, just always play your hardest, always stay determined, be focused, and we'll get the results we need. Is it difficult, because you're a multi-sport athlete, um, is it difficult to balance the sports time with the school time? Or I mean, yeah, it's difficult because when we have practice at night, we also have a lot of homework and tests the next day, but I feel like if you just prepare, like not the night before, you just prepare a couple days or a week in advance, I think you'll be good. Okay. And then how many free throws do you think you shoot every day? Um, in practice, after our water breaks, we shoot for about 10 minutes, so that's maybe 50, 100, and then we do it uh, outside of practice, too, in our backyards or whatever, so, yeah, we try and shoot a lot, yeah. I started playing when I was six, and um, since then, I tried out a couple other sports. I played baseball, soccer a little bit, but I think basketball just spoke the most to me. Um, it's high energy, it's a team sport. Uh, I just had a lot of good experiences growing up playing basketball. Because you've been playing for so long, um, what do you sort of work on from season to season to get a little better? Um, definitely some like athleticism stuff. So I'll be in the weight room, um, some quickness. I worked with a couple trainers and just getting my skills right. Um, and then playing on club teams too. Um, I just get a lot of game experience. What are the messages that the coaches always want you guys to remember? Um, definitely just be unselfish, play for everyone, and then effort all the time. So playing as hard as you can every time you step out on the court. What is different about this team this year, do you think? Um, I think everyone plays in their role really well, so there's no one that's very selfish. Uh, we all play together, and we all see the bigger goal. Okay. And then um, how many free throws do you think you shoot every day? Um, I'd probably say 25 to 50. Uh, I've been playing basketball since about the seventh grade, and um, it, normally it wasn't my it wasn't my first sport. I was more of a football guy, but I had a really good travel ball coach who just kind of like developed my love for basketball, and I've been playing ever since. Are you still playing football? No, I'm not. What do you think it was? Like, what made you fall in love with this game? I don't know, just like the ease you can play it. You can go to any court. All you need is a ball, a good pair of shoes, and like a buddy or two, and you can just kind of play anywhere. Whereas football is like, yeah, you can play catch, but it needs to be more organized. This seems like a very tight-knit group of guys. What kind of things do you do away from basketball? Um, just kind of hang out. We have like team dinners, team breakfasts and stuff. Um, just kind of like see each other in the hallways, just kind of chat, and then practices every almost every week. Mm. Okay. And then what's the messages that the coaches want you guys to remember? Um, just that we play as a unit, and that we are—it's not individual. Yeah, it's not individual basketball. It's uh, just more of a cohesive group. Okay. And then from season to season, what do you work on specifically to get a little better in your own game? Uh, just free throws, ball handling, and shooting was my main focus, and it's just a lot of just with my little brother, who's also in the program, just going down and shooting at a local court. Okay, and then that was going to be my next question: was how many free throws do you think you shoot every day? Uh, probably around 50. Uh, I've been playing basketball for like about eight years now. Uh, I chose it because uh, my older sister started playing when she was younger too, and I like got I loved it like ever since I saw her play. So, yeah. did you ever try any other sports? Uh, I played baseball when I was younger too, but it was just kind of boring because I was just sitting in the, in the grass for a long time. So, yeah. Okay, and then I, how do you how do you sort of balance the school time with the basketball time? Is that tricky, or do you kind of have it down? Uh, yeah, it's still a little tricky for me. I'm a sophomore still, but it's getting better. Uh, usually studying before and then after practice usually helps a lot too. So trying to get into the rhythm of it then. And what's the messages that the coaches want you to remember? Uh, they tell us like you give 100% all the time, uh, work hard at practice all the time, you give effort basically. And if you do that, then you can win games like all the time. Yep.
And do you guys have any like uh, pregame rituals that you do as a team, or? Uh, we usually stretch in the locker room and listen to music all the time. Uh, we usually have handshakes to get hyped before the game in the locker room and stuff. And then, how many free throws do you think you shoot every day? Uh, I probably shoot about like 50 every single day. Yeah. Do you basket at home too? Yeah, I do. Yeah, in the backyard. Practicing in both places. Um, so I've been playing basketball ever since I can remember. Um, I used to live in Marina Del Rey, so I started in the Venice League. And then from a friend, um, when I moved to PV, I transferred over to a Torrance League. And then we moved to PV, and then I got, I've just always been in love with basketball. And um, the high school basketball has been great for me. It's a great um, rest away from the academics, and yeah. This seems like a very close-knit team as well. Talk about that. Yeah, this year I'd say I felt the closest ever to my teammates than ever. Um, this year our coach was diagnosed with cancer, so that was really hard for us to take, and it's just brought us even closer. We had a great trip in San Diego over the holiday break, um, had poker nights together, and uh, I've just grown really close with these guys, and they're brothers, they're my family now, and we always talk about that. We're always in touch. We have our own group chat. Um, I'm sure we'll keep in touch, you know, not only now, but for the rest of our lives. And our coaches have been so supportive of us, and it's so amazing to see their dedication not only to coach us, but to just talk about normal life things and seeing their families and just being around them. It's just a really great community. So When I'm older, I want to look back, and the things I'm going to remember is not the grades I got in school particularly, but the friendships I made, the bonds I had with my friends and coaches and teammates, so that's going to be worth it in the end, and I'm really proud that I chose to choose basketball. Too. Yeah. How many free throws do you think that you shoot every day? Um, so I like to think of free throws as like my favorite like thing, and like even in our team media guide, my favorite drill, I put free throws, and it's just something that I've practiced at home for a long time, and you know, shoot, whether it's 20, 30, 40, 50 each day. Um, I have a small indoor court at my house, and my dad has been practicing with me for as long as I can remember now since we got the house. So it's just been really motivating and um, getting used to my routine. And now it's just, you know, free-flowing and getting used to it, trying to uh, push out all the nerves during the games. And it's just been really relaxing now. So. Okay, and then um, last fun question. Um, who is a better team in Los Angeles, the Lakers or the Clippers? Oh, that's an easy one. The Clippers all day. Um, I've been a Clipper fan since I was ever born. That's like my second home is Staples Center. Um, I, uh, use, I have like single season tickets ever since I was born. My dad actually works with the Clippers. He was the doctor of the Clippers. So I've got to meet some of the players and it's been really fun, like watching them, like year in and year out, um, and it's time for them to get a ring. You know, there's I agree. <laughs> if there's one thing I hate about my basketball team, it's too many Laker fans on this team. We need more Clipper fans to come in, and you know they're really fun, and especially this year they got the two stars, and their team's just so deep, and you know I see similarities between their team and our high school team, and their like bonds and handshakes and collaborations. Tell me how long you've been playing basketball and why you chose it for your sport. Uh, I've been playing basketball since I was around nine or so and uh, I chose the sport just because uh, I was better at it than any other sport and it was more fun than any other, yeah. Did, did you try other sports as well? Or? Yeah, I played soccer, uh, football, but my mom wouldn't let me play tackle. So yeah, and then I just chose basketball. So. What is it about this game that made you want to stick with it? Um, I don't know, I just really find it fun and I was better at it than any other sport. So, you know, I just stuck with basketball, yeah. What are the messages that the coaches want you guys to remember? Uh, just keep pushing, um, keep going hard every single practice, every single game, because it'll translate in the end. And uh, what you put in is what comes out, so, you know, yeah. From season to season since you've been playing for a while, what do you sort of work on to get a little better in your own game? Uh, I try to practice my ball handling, uh, my decision making, uh, shooting, uh, yeah, everybody can get better at anything. So, you know, I just try to keep that in mind whenever I'm playing. Yeah. And then um, how do you sort of balance the school time with the basketball time where you, you get that down after a while? Uh, it's, lately it's been a struggle with finals and everything, but um, 
yeah, I try to get in uh, as much schoolwork as possible. You know, there's always time to relax, always time to, you know, put in schoolwork. So, you know, you just got to kind of manage it. Yeah. And then how many free throws do you think you shoot every day? Every day? <laughs> um, probably around 50 or so with this practice and everything, yeah. Uh, I've been playing basketball around since fifth grade. Okay. And uh, I just like how so active and everything. He moved the ball. It's a fast-paced game. Okay. Did you ever try any other sports? Uh, soccer. Yeah? Yeah, when I was younger, I got really into soccer. What do you think you learned playing soccer that actually helps you on the hardwood? Uh, it's a team sport just like basketball. So everyone has to contribute equally, and then you guys get to win together. And then this seems like a very close-knit group. Tell me about what you guys do away from basketball. Uh, we hang out around school, outside of basketball. As you know, like, we'll go, say, to the movies together, stuff like that. Okay. Yeah. All right. And then um, what are the messages that the coaches want you guys to remember and focus on? Uh, that this year is going to be a grind, and we have to really focus on pushing and giving it 100 every single game. Okay. And how many free throws do you think you shoot every day? Um... In practice, we'll probably get around like 25 to 50, okay. and then outside, probably 50 to 100 outside, yeah. Wow, okay. And how do you sort of balance the school time with the basketball time, or is that difficult, or you got it down? Uh, I've gotten it down over the past four years, just like studying before practice and after. Yeah. Probably like six years, and chose it as my sport because, I, I don't know, it just appealed to me, I guess. Did you ever try any other sports? Or? Uh, yeah, I played uh, baseball and football. Wow. Yeah. Do you still, or just basketball? Just basketball, no. What do you think you learned playing other team sports like that um, that helps you on the hardwood? I don't know, probably like strength, teamwork, that stuff, yeah. And then, um, is it difficult to balance the school time with the basketball time, or do you sort of get that down after a while? Uh, I don't know, it's kind of, it's easy now, yeah. I've, yeah. And then, um, what are the messages that the coaches want you guys to remember and focus on? You know, just persevere, hard work, you know, try your hardest and everything. Okay. Yeah. You guys seem like a close group. Do you do stuff away from basketball as well? Yeah, we hang out away from basketball all the time. Okay. All right. And then, um, how many free throws do you think you shoot every day? Free th uh, I don't know, maybe like 50. I've been playing basketball competitively uh, since I was in second grade, and uh, the reason I started playing basketball because my grandfather used to be a coach up here. He actually coached at uh, Mirror Less back in the uh, 70s and 80s, so he kind of taught me the game and how to play and all the fundamentals. So. Did you ever try any other sports? Uh, I actually also run cross country and track. I just started this year. Uh, my dad has always been a runner, and I figured I'd give it a try for a change of pace, and I really enjoyed doing that. What do, you, what do you think you're learning and bringing over to basketball from running? Uh, running has definitely helped my defensive intensity out a lot. I have a lot more energy out there, it feels like, and it's really conditioned me well. Uh, it doesn't help me as far as strength goes. Uh, I got a lot of guys out there that are bigger and stronger than me, but I really feel like I can hold my own as far as the conditioning goes and staying in front of my man. As a multi-sport athlete, um, how difficult is it to play sports and your schoolwork and just kind of balance the time? It's a lot. Um, it's This has really been my first year doing all the different sports. And I just think if you keep your studies in front of you, you're a student before, um, you're an athlete, I think that's the key. And just studying while you're on the road, you know, on the bus. you got to be able to study anytime, anywhere. So The beautiful thing about this team is we don't really have one guy who's just a superstar. We all have our roles and we all go out here and work our hardest. And we want to be the toughest, grittiest team in the Bay League and in Southern California. Oh, you're working toward that, that's for sure. Um, how many free throws do you think you shoot every day? Uh, me personally, some days I can, some days I can't, but I like to shoot around 100, 200 free throws a week. So I'll be like just getting outside and maybe take 10, 20 at a time and then another 10, 20. And I think it's really, it's like a lost art in this game. And you know, you gotta be able to shoot free throws at the end of games. I've been playing basketball since I was like, probably seven or eight around there. And you know, I just, I started playing because my friends joined directly, Bogdanovich. And I just really wanted to play with them, so I joined and fell in love ever since. Did you ever try any other sports or just this one? Um, I used to play baseball. I was big into baseball. My family always loved the Angels. We used to go to games, but you know, um, after a while, like I kind of just like fell in love with basketball, watching LeBron. He's my favorite player, so 
like after that, I just got hooked on basketball. Oh, and now he's close. You can see him all the time. Oh, yeah. Unfortunately, I haven't gotten to see a Laker game yet in person. It's a hot ticket, but I'm, oh, yeah. Hopefully, hopefully I can see AD and LeBron play this year. Tell me what the message the coaches try to get you guys to remember. Um, always work hard. I mean, you know, we're a grinded out team. We're, we're not the biggest, but we'll always outwork you, and that's what we do. What do you work on specifically to get a little better from season to season? Um, always shooting. It's good to, good to keep the shot good. I mean, that's, that's one skill they can get you on the court no matter what. I mean, you just got sharpshooters. That and defense. If you can play defense and shoot threes, you're good. School time and basketball timing, is that difficult to kind of navigate? or? Uh, it can be difficult at times, like during league when it gets intense. You got the late games, and you end around like 9, 9 o'clock, but then you get home a little later. And especially now, like we got finals this week, you know, it's it's been tough, but, you know, it's been pretty good on keeping. Yeah, basketball and books, right? Yep, basketball and books. <laughs> All right, and then how, how many free throws do you think you shoot every day? Oh, um, I, I don't know about every day, but every practice I, I don't know, like 50, I don't know. A decent amount. I've been playing basketball since uh, about third grade competitively, uh, like club, and I chose it for my sport because I just find it really fun, exhilarating when you can get out there with your teammates and uh, just really try to work together to beat the other team. Because you've been playing for so long, what do you work on from season to season to get a little better in your own game? Uh, well, I try to work on what I didn't do well the previous season, so um, mostly like handles and that kind of stuff, uh, defense for sure. Okay. What's the message that the coaches want you guys to remember and focus on? Uh, they want us to play hard on the court and like give us give it our all. But uh, at the end of the day, just like help each other out, respect each other, and uh, try to have a good time. Seems like you guys are a very close knit group. What do, what do you do away from basketball? Uh, I like to uh, coach my brothers in basketball as well um, for uh, PBYBL local league. So um, that's pretty fun. What is that experience like being on the other end and being the coach? Uh, it's really cool to see like what our coaches uh, go through and like the kind of things they can see and uh, just how, how they would do things. How do you sort of balance the school time with the basketball time, or do you have that down? Uh, yeah, sometimes it can be pretty difficult uh, balancing, like, a lot of classes with the homework and everything with practice, but uh, it's just everything a student athlete has to deal with. Very true. Okay. And then um, how many free throws do you think you shoot every day? Every day? Um, I'd say about, like, 25, 50. So, of course, my favorite question of the day is to ask these guys, who is the best team in Los Angeles, the Lakers or the Clippers? Let's go to the coach first. He had a very interesting answer. All right, I'm going to ask everybody this. I'm going to ask you, who is the better team in Los Angeles, the Clippers or the Lakers? Uh, well, the Sea Kings are the best team in Los Angeles, but, but then right after that, I'm going to go Lakers. Who is the better team in Los Angeles, the Lakers or the Clippers? The Lakers. Lakers all the way. Uh, I don't like either, but right now um, I'm going to have to go with the Clippers. The Clippers are better than the Lakers, yeah. Um, man, that's a tough one this year. Um, I'll say Lakers. I'm a Lakers fan at heart. so. Uh, personally, I like the Clippers more, but I mean the Lakers always have the history. so. Um, I'm going to have to go with the Lakers right now. I'm going to have to go with the Lakers. Definitely the Lakers. I don't like the Clippers. Lakers 100%. Yeah, Clippers. I'm Clippers till I die. I got to give it to the Clippers. Lakers. Yeah. yeah. I'm not really a fan of either, but... Uh, Who are you a fan of? I'm a fan of the Nuggets. I was born in Denver, so yeah. But between the Clippers and the Lakers, I'll go with the Clippers. I like the Clippers. I think defense wins championships, and Kawhi Leonard and Paul George, those guys can play defense, and Patrick Beverly as well. So I take the Clippers. Oh, for sure the Lakers, you know. LeBron coming for that chip, you know, getting that, getting that fourth ring, you know. Greatest of all time. Oh, definitely Lakers. You can't be LeBron and AD. And that will do it for today's show. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Maria Sorreo, and we'll see you next time on Playing the Field, Local Edition. Hands up, Dave. Your target. Well, now